Okay, I literally just finished counting my ESPs. Um, of course, inside of my merges. I'm at 2,000. I thought I had 1,500 or something like that. I made it to 2,000. I'm not even sure what to like, how to caveat that or what to say. This is insane. It doesn't even look. It still looks vanilla. You know, you know what I'm saying? It still looks like the base game. You know, it just looks better. I think I'm starting to feel like this is Elder Scrolls 6. Yeah, this looks like Elder Scrolls 6. I think if Elder Scrolls 6 ever comes out, this is what it would look like. Wait, well, let me stop I'm scrolling through the races here. This is another crash test video, so I'm going to run my route that I always run. Wow, I'm at 2K. I'm in shock, man. Every time I load this up, I smile. Like, this is crazy. This is absolutely insane. I know most people are happy when they reach 1,000. Oh, I gotta turn off that stupid. Because I don't need it. It, it. I can't record a video and have TTS on. It causes echo in the, uh, the NPCs. Uh, I guess you just disable it like this. Cool. We're going to the woods, of course. The woods can be so peaceful this time of year. Good hunting. Yeah, you notice there's no repeat anymore for the uh, the NPC there. She usually repeats her uh, what she says. It's because of TTS. Okay, yeah, for this crash test, I'm gonna run as fast as I can. I'm gonna see how far I can get in like 10 minutes. I try to keep the videos under 10 minutes because I have to upload them. But um. During this crash test here, I'm going to try to be intuitive or, uh, you know, try to give you guys information, little tidbits, you know, because me being a master modder, I think at 2,000 mods, it's safe to say I'm a master. Um, there's a lot of things I could teach you guys that you probably don't know. Plus, I've been skimming through Reddit, you know, I've seen, sorry about the nudity there, gotta put my clothes on. Sorry, it's mandatory for uh, this RPG. Okay, uh, just, you know, as a master modder, I'm going to just give you guys pieces of advice, little tidbits, things that I know personally that I think would be important for you all. Hmm, that was weird. I don't like that. Oh, yeah, I got to turn it on. Sorry, there's a must-have um, mod that I always turn on. Which is animations. I can't play this game without animations on for immersion purposes. Okay, that's better. Let's see here. Okay, that's way better. I was like, why is the bag just moving by itself? That's weird. I'll probably shorten that animation there though in the future. Again, I'm gonna go as fast as I can. This is 2,000 mods. If you've been following my mod videos, you got pretty much the gist of what everything looks like. Those mods that I've added in have been part of my tweaking or refining phase anyway. They've been pretty much just patches in order to improve or, you know, increase the compatibility of the mods that I have in currently. Which uh, consists of basically a bunch of different ESPs that, you know, are labeled patch. And a bunch of plugins that, uh, you know, improve what's already here. Um, speaking of plugins, you guys are going to immediately notice that uh, my character is a lot more expressive in his face. Now, I'll give you a good demonstration of why I say that. Okay, that standing stone is so cool, by the way. I hate the, uh, the original standing stone design. They look awful. I think ESO did a good job with those. Oh, for the expressions here. What would be a good example? Maybe an apple? I'll eat an apple. As you can see, I have eating animations now. The expressions makes the character chew. The character makes faces when they're talking to each other. It's just so, it's so much better. Again, I, I promised I would sprint here, so I'm gonna run. I have no idea what this would do to your system. Of course, it's on max settings, by the way. I have an EMB running. And as you can see, my trees are swaying. If you don't know what that means, trees only sway when your FPS is above 30. My game runs at a consistent 60. 
because I modded it so well. These tires. Can't we try to take off here? Keep forgetting those wolves like to attack me. They're not up there. Yep, they're in the. Sh God dang it, they're in the road. All right, I'm gonna have to kill this little guy here. Don't worry, he's not alone. Go on, I know you're gonna attack. They're in a pack, they always attack. In a pack. God dang it. This is really hard to do this close. He's gonna bleed out. So I just have to kill this other one. Okay, cool. They always extend the video by a couple minutes. Okay, for the people out there who wanna, you know, mod this game themselves, I have 2,000 mods, so I think I know what I'm talking about here. There's a few must-haves that you need. Um, of course, being DAR or Dynamic Animation Replacer, you can't play this without that. It, it's just necessary now. Uh, the other being SMIM, Static Mesh Improvement. It makes the meshes... It makes the meshes look better. They pop a lot more. Um, must-haves. Parallaxing. Parallaxing for your textures is a must-have too. You just... You, if you don't parallax your textures, they're gonna look flat. You're gonna look like you're playing a, a game that belongs on your phone or something. This is gonna look awful. So, uh, yeah, that's my other piece of advice. My third piece of advice. Parallax your textures where you can. If I see the word parallax on anything, I just do it. I just download it and put it in. I have to. Just because I know what it is, you know. But yeah, 2K, man. I can't believe I made it to 2000. And this is running smooth. Gee, I can't believe how amazing this looks. He might run. He's alone. Yeah, he's trying to run. So he might not attack me. Yeah. Wolves only attack in packs. Thanks to the uh, realistic predator mod here. Again, I'm trying to keep the video under 10 minutes. I think I'm doing a pretty good job. I got pretty far, pretty fast here. And it's so much smoother than it was before. Even in my earlier videos, when I had like 500, maybe 1,000. Nope. Even in my previous videos, when I had 1,000 to maybe 800 different mods. They didn't run this smooth. This is really, this is, this is kind of ridiculous, to be honest. This is not like a thing. You shouldn't have a game this smooth with 2,000 mods installed. I've seen so many other games too that have, uh, you know, like a thousand mods or more than a thousand mods, and they look awful. They look like MMOs or they look like, uh, they look weird. They look like Japanese games. They don't look like you know, what the game was intending. You know, originally, which is for me personally, that's a no go. Like, I don't want to, I want to play Skyrim, I don't want to play something else. You know, that's not the point of modding this game, in my opinion. Ayla, she's rude as always, but yeah, I don't think that's the point of modding this game. You don't mod this game to make it another game, you mod the game to improve it. So, like, the, me personally, all of my mods, is 2,000 mods, by the way, is immersion. Therefore, immersion and bug fixing. And as you can see, the end result, this looks very vanilla. To, in, in my opinion, this looks like what Elder Scrolls 6 should look like when it comes out. That's my advice pretty much though. If you mod this game, try to make sure your mods are focused on just being emerging and fixing bugs that exist. Because that's all that really matters. Up oh, 10 minutes almost. Alright, I'm going to end the video here. Be safe people.